Well, former state Senate leader Dean Skelos is once again innocent in the eyes of the law. Today, a court overturned his conviction in a high-profile corruption case. News 4's Dave Graber looked into why his conviction was tossed out. Dave? Well, Dean Skelos has been free while this appeal made its way through the courts. But today, he is a free man after a federal appeals court threw out his conviction on what some may see as a technicality. Now, that freedom as it stands now, however, is only expected to be temporary because it is expected that this case will be retried. Now, the reasons for today's decision dates back to last year when the U.S. Supreme Court overturned the conviction of former Virginia Governor Bob McDonnell, essentially saying that the government's definition of an official act was far too broad. The same was true, according to the federal appeals court, for the cases of both Dean Skelos and his son Adam and the former speaker of the state assembly, Sheldon Silver. Federal prosecutors said, if you recall, that Skelos got his son a job, basically a no-show job, for which he was paid six figures in exchange for political favors. Silver was convicted on bribery charges, but again, the court vacated that conviction earlier this year. Now, in its ruling on the Skelos and Silver cases, the Court of Appeals said the juries were given improper instructions on the criminal charges. And because those charges were improper, the case becomes invalid. The bottom line is that if you're charged with any crime uh, that requires uh, as an element an official act, the commission of an official act by the legislative individual or by a public official, that the jury has to be told correctly what an official act is. Now, despite the rulings on improper jury instructions, the appeals court said it did agree with the facts of both of these cases and that they were substantial enough to be retried. In response to today's ruling on Skelos, the U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan said they intend to do just that. No announcement on exactly when those new trials would be scheduled. Live in the studio tonight, Dave Graber, News 4 at 6.